Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the New York Jets franchise as we are 1 0 to start this season. Now, with Chance Tyree at the helm, the Bears have a new quarterback as well. It is quarterback Pat Perez from Missouri Tech. One of the best passers of the football, and he is just a pure passer. And he can run as well. He's got some mobility. But in the River Cats dynasty, we did upset him there in his senior season. There you can saw that highlight right there. But he has some new toys to play with. The Chicago Bears are coming off of an NFC North title as they went to the NFC Championship last year, facing off against Dan Settle before losing to the Washington football team. Now, drafted with... Pat Perez was Matt Sermon. He is a very good receiver. He is fast, and I mean lightning fast, and he's a great route runner. In the opener, they did beat the Lions, who are still quarterbacked by Matt Stafford, by three points. So they are 1-0, and we have a couple of changes coming into this game. Carlos uh, Jackson actually does switch over to number 13. Somebody did point out to me that uh, number 12 is a retired number, so I will change him over. 2-1-3. Henry Anderson has an upgrade. Jabari Zuniga has an upgrade. I'm looking, really looking for this defensive line, especially the pass rush, to really take a leap forward. And I want to see what they can do. Especially if Brad Matthews goes down again. I'm going to need somebody to really step up. Now, Fadu Kazi has an upgrade as well. He has been amazing as our lone nose tackle. He doesn't really have a backup. So let's just hop into this action. Let's see if we can defeat Pat Perez in the 1-0 Chicago Bears as Carlos Jackson is back to receive this one. And he will remain on the field. He is third on the depth chart, but out comes Chance Tyree. In the debut, he dazzled. Five total touchdowns, one on the ground, four through the air. He did turn the ball over a couple of times, but he's a rookie. He's gonna make mistakes at times. So let's see if he can cut down on those this game. So we're going to start out handing the ball to Dwayne Lincoln, the fifth round pick. And he picks up a gain of 12. Interesting. Le'Veon Bell is uh, healthy going into this game, but Dwayne Lincoln takes the field. So here he is on the field now. T Tyree throws to the right side, and he had an open man. That was Jamison Crowder. And he just overthrows him in complete pass. So third and 10 now from the 37, Tyree. In the pocket, facing pressure, throws deep, one-on-one -on -one to Denzel Mims, and he can't get hold of it. It's a 0 for 3 drive for Chance Tyree, and a punt. So here comes Pat Perez, one of the best young quarterbacks in the league after a, a stellar rookie season. And here he comes, gracing the field inside his own 10, handing the ball off to David Montgomery, who is still the starting running back for the Bears. He picks up a gain of five yards. So three wide receivers out there. We send the quick pressure, and that's thrown to Sermon. Sermon's got speed. He gets away from Ashton Davis in the slot. It picks up a gain of 24. you got to watch him. If he gets the ball in space, he could take off. So first and 10 at the 32. Another quick throw across the middle. This time it's David Montgomery. He gets to about the 40-yard line. Two big passes for Pat Perez, and it's a first down already across the 50. So from the shotgun, Perez dumps it off short to Montgomery, who tries to get around George Caver, who we drafted in the fifth round a season ago, and Solomon Thomas is shaken up. So third and four at the 33, Pat Perez turns, throws the left side, and he's got Montgomery, who reaches out for the first down. It looks like he may have gotten it, and he barely did. Ashton Davis couldn't make the stop again. So set up inside a field goal range, Perez blitz off the left edge, throws, and it's caught. And that will be caught by Riley Ridley. So they have a pretty young receiving core. Uh, Allen Robinson is getting up there in age, but still in his 20s. And also they have Riley Ridley and now Matt Sermon. Pat Perez throws to the right side, and it's almost picked off. Davis almost gets his revenge. He dropped a pick six on that one. Remember, he had one in uh, the opener. So here, third and eight, throw to the right side, and it's going to be caught on the sideline. Sermon again, another first down. So here at the seven, Pat Perez throws to the back of the end zone, and it's caught. Allen Robinson for the touchdown, beating Emmanuel Mosley in the back of the end zone. It's seven nothing here for the Bears. So here we are back on the field, running a little read option. This time Tyree get, runs out of room and gets tackled in the backfield. 
and that is a loss of two yards. That brings it to a third and 12. Khalil Mack is in the zone that time, but he drops back into coverage instead of rushing on third down. Interesting, throwing, caught. Jamison Crowder, that was an interesting play call by Chicago. They did not blitz Khalil Mack, even when he was in the zone. So now we get it to the 46 yard line now. Tyree moves to the right side. There is Mack off the edge. We get rid of it just in time, but it is incomplete. Tyree starts out this game two of seven. So Chicago, two punts forced. Here is Montgomery with the handoff up the middle, but he trips over his own offensive lineman. And Matthews is shaken up now. So he will have to come in out of the game. And here is the rookie. That's going to be DeAndre Waddle rushing in his place. Here's a throw to left side, and it's broken up. Nice play by Emmanuel Mosley over Riley Ridley, knocking that ball loose. So they punt the ball away here. What a great block by Hopkins. Jackson gets free down the left sideline. He's got space and gets pushed out of bounds at about the 16-yard line. Now we're set up with a great field position. So Tyree starts out the next drive, handing the ball off to Dwayne Lincoln. And where is Le'Veon Bell? He has still not reached the field. Deion Carter checks in here for a third and five. Quick throw to the right side. It's Carter. He's got speed to the pylon. Touchdown. How about Deion Carter? He showed that he can play towards the end of the season when Le'Veon Bell did go down. And now he's getting some playing time here. It's 7-7. Seven, seven. So we start the second quarter now with a tie game. Here's Pat Perez under center. And it looks like he's going to change the play up as Allen Robinson runs in motion now. He runs David Montgomery out to left side. He's a lot of movement before the play. Second and nine, quick throw, and it's picked off. Blake Cashman doesn't fall for any of it. It's a touchdown the other way. How about the play of Blake Cashman? Remember in season one, he filled in for CJ Mosley after he sat out during that first season. And Blake Cashman just reads Pat Perez's eyes. It's 14-7. So now they start back over at the 33. They're not going through too much trickery now as Pat Perez tries to scramble. It's a sack. Solomon Thomas gets his first sack as a New York Jet. Loss of four yards. Second and 14 now, Perez throws left side. He's got Montgomery with a lot of room, and Cashman does catch up to him. Cashman ha has excellent speed, 89 speed. Not many people are going to outrun him. So third and seven this time, Perez from the shotgun. He's going to try to scramble. He can't get away. Brad Matthews, who led our team a year ago with 12 and a half sacks as a rookie. He's going to be looking to build off of that. So here's Deion Carter after the punt, handoff, and he picks up about a gain of eight. You gotta love Deion Carter's shiftiness. How about the hole opened up that time by McGovern? So handoff this time, Dwayne Lincoln breaks the tackle and picks up the first down. That's a gain of 13 yards. And Demetrius Harris, the third string tight end, is shaken up. So now from about the 43, handoff, it's Carter again, and he picks up a first down. Look at him driving the pile. It took about seven defenders to take him down. First down. How about that run? So now Le'Veon Bell checks in. Finally, his first carry of the game, and he picks up about a gain of nine, and he gets a first down. Three running backs so far have been active so far. So play action fake, quick throw across the middle. It's Bell out of the backfield. He's got it. He spins around, gain of 15. And now Chance Tyree is starting to get into a little bit of a groove. So first and 10, four minutes left here in the first half, running a little read option. Chance Tyree tries to get a block and gets hit hard, and he coughs it up. Khalil Mack falls on it. And that's what happens when you try to be a running back as a quarterback. Chance Tyree makes a rookie mistake. And now Chicago takes back over. So here's Perez on the next drive. He tries to take off. He gets around Cashman in a big gain to about the 40-yard line. And that is a first down. Nice scramble by the second-year pro out of Missouri Tech. So now two minutes left now. Perez under pressure right away. And Fukadu Kazi almost gets the sack. And that was almost an interception. That was really close. So they come out here with a third and 10 now. Five wide receivers out there is Perez. Pretty good throwing the ball so far. He throws to the right side and a nice tackle that time. And it looks like it was Hopkins and Blake Cashman on the stop. 
And the Bears do kick the long field goal. This was from about 50 yards, and it's good. So now here we are under two minutes left. Let's see if we can put together a nice two-minute drive as Chance Tyree is back onto the field. Khalil Mack coming off the edge, but we had the blocking. And that one is thrown across the middle incomplete, but a pass interference on the defense will give us good field position. So first and 10 now at about the 41-yard line. Tyree moves to the right side. He's got speed. He stops, but he throws, and it's caught. Deion Carter out of the backfield. You got to love what he does in the passing game as we hurry up to the line now as the clock runs inside of 40 seconds. Tyree, snap from the shotgun. Great blocking initially and throwing. Crowder to about the 13. Nice throw by Chance Tyree. So here we are at the 13 now. Tyree throws across the middle. He's got Denzel Mims, and he gets to the two as we burn our second timeout. Nice drive put together before halftime by Chance Tyree as now we line up in kind of a pistol formation play action fake. We throw to the right side, and it's caught. Tariq Macklin. He's been playing, it looks like, a ton of fullback early on in this season, but he's already got two receiving touchdowns what a start to this game for this offense. It's 21 to 10. Only the turnover comes off of a fumble. So let's check around the league here in week number two as the Packers still quarterbacks by Aaron Rodgers. They are ahead of our rival in our division, B Buffalo. And then look who plays for the Steelers now, Mitch Trubisky. And they did lose big time, though, to the Broncos. As you remember, Victor Dimitrankos got drafted there in the first round to the Broncos. They come away with the win. They're 2-0. And then Cam Newton in a tight one with Joe Burrow. So now we start the second half now. Pat Perez starts out with the ball. Quick throw across to the right side. It's picked off. The second interception of the game. It's a pick six again. Touchdown. How about this Jets defense? We're getting it done all kinds of ways. And it looks like Pat Perez did not even see C.J. Mosley. He threw it to him like he was wide open, 28 to 10. So here's Perez backing onto the field. Quick throw to the right side, and it's caught. David Montgomery and Dante Nichols, the former Wisconsin State Whitetail who they drafted in the first round, he's shaking up on that play. So throw to left side. This time it's caught. And that is Allen Robinson over Emmanuel Mosley. First down for him. So now they're across the 50, still down by a few scores now. Perez takes off. You know he's got decent speed, and he takes a hit, and Brad Matthews eventually runs him down. Looks like he was going for that ball on that strip. But they get to the 27, fresh set of downs. So handoff this time, David Montgomery, big time hole. He gets to the 11, and it is a first down. And now DeAndre Waddle is shaken up on the play. So first and 10 now at the 10 yard line. Perez, clean pocket, throws to the right side and it's caught. Touchdown, Riley Ridley over Alex Hopkins, a second year pro out of Temple and Chicago is right back in this game. So now it's an 11 point game this time and handing the ball off. No, it's a keeper to chance Tyree and he does not want to take a hit that time. So he takes the loss of about 11 yards. So second and 21 this time, play action fake to Le'Veon Bell, deep shot, and he's got Mims all alone, and he catches it. Oh, if he would have stayed on his feet, that could have been a touchdown, but it's a gain of 35 to the 47-yard line. So Chance Tyree throws to the right side on the next play. It is Macklin again. He gets open, and that's about a 12-yard gain, another first down throw by Chance Tyree. So here's Carter in the game, and look at him. When he gets into the game, you don't know if he's going to get the ball in a handoff or get open in the passing game. He is an excellent passer, of excellent catcher of the football. So here is Bell in the game, only for his second carry, but he does move the chains on that one. So we get it to the 27 now. It's a third and eight. Tyree moves, and he just gets rid of it. He throws it away out of bounds. And that one will be incomplete. And it looks like we will settle for the field goal. So 31-17 now as David Montgomery gets the carry on the next drive in the middle of the third quarter. And he picks up almost just enough for the first down. Now it's third and one. 
So handoff, no, it's a keeper. Pat Perez, he's got speed. Let's see if he gets the block, and he doesn't, but he coughs it up. It's on the ground, picked up by Quinton Williams. That is gonna be Marcus May coming all the way across the field and making the tackle. Pat Perez makes his mistake, and Williams comes and picks it up. Wow, what a play by the defense, and it looks like, yeah, he just got a hand in there, and Chicago could not pick up the fumble. So now here we are with a 31-17 lead and possession. We run to the right side, and it's Tyree, and Khalil Mack comes up with the stop at about the 16. So second and four, handoff. It's Carter again, another first down. He is just a chain mover. He's at about 50 yards rushing. So now from the four-yard line here, looks like third and goal. Deion Carter tries to block, but he can't. It's a sack. It is Khalil Mack in for his first sack. We couldn't hold him all game long, but Chuma Idoga has been blocking him extremely well. So now here's Pat Perez back onto the field, and he goes down. And that is Blake Cashman already has a pick six in this game, add a sack to that number, to that stat line as well. So third and 15, here's Pat Perez, throws to the left side. He's got Allen Robinson, but it's just short of the first down marker. Will they go for this though? Fourth and four, down by three scores, and it looks like they will. From the 29 yard line, Pat Perez, three wide receivers out there. It looks like he's just gonna take off, and he does, and slides down, and he is short of the first down marker. Pat Perez makes a easy mistake. That was an easy one. Just dive for the first down. Maybe he was thinking about fumbling as Chance Tyree converts on the throw to Herndon. And we move inside the 10-yard line up 17. So first and goal, Tyree moves to the right side. He's going to take it himself and runs out at about the three-yard line. So now we eventually get it to the one here for a third and goal. This one is a quarterback power. Chance Tyree gets knocked in. It's a touchdown. How about the game from Chance Tyree again? 41 points here in game number two. Man, this is another blowout to start this season. So here is Pat Perez back out to the field, trying to get away. It's a sack. Brad Matthews, his second of the game, bringing it to a third and 17, five minutes left. So Perez this time from the pocket. He's got all day to throw. He throws to left side and it's caught. And it looks like that's Allen Robinson over Emmanuel Mosley. That's a big time catch. So first and 10, this time Pat Perez tries to scramble again and gets stopped at about the 48. And it looks like Pat Perez is shaken up on that play. So in comes the backup quarterback, and this is Drew Driscoll, who is his backup. He got drafted last season in his first pass. He goes down. How about a three-sack game from Brad Matthews? So now third and 20 from the 50-yard line. Driscoll throws to the right side, incomplete. Fourth and 20. Bad position to be in in your first action of pro football as here's Driscoll now, throws to the left side. He has a man, and it's going to be a pass interference. Blake Cashman could not keep up to the receiver that time. So Driscoll remains in the game. No signs of Pat Perez. They might just keep him out of this game. Here's a throw to the right side, and it is caught. That's Tyler Croft for the touchdown, and they will have to kick the onside kick but it looks like this game is way out of reach, down by two scores. They will have to get this one, and it's picked up. Denzel Mims with one hand, and that one will make us 2-0 to start season three. You gotta love the start this team is off to. We are playing excellent on both sides of the football. We took the ball away three times, a forced fumble, two interceptions. Pat Perez was hurt but I think he's going to be okay. I think they just kept him out of this game to avoid further injury. Le'Veon Bell did lead our team in carries with 10, but Dwayne Lincoln got the start in this one. He only had seven attempts for 37, but Deion Carter really made the biggest impact. He has been very, very good out of the backfield, receiving the ball and being a great runner of the football as well. He had a touchdown receiving. Tariq Macklin also got into the end zone. No picks by Chance Tyree, you love to see that. 
And then we had five sacks as a team, three by Matthews, one by Thomas, and one by Cashman, and then two pick sixes by Mosley and Cashman. You got to love our linebacker duo because they're really good. I got to admit, they are extremely good. I don't know if I can keep them both around for the long term, but I love what I have so far. Dwayne Lincoln has an upgrade, and he goes up to 70 overall. And you know I don't care about overall ratings, but I do like the production I have out of Dwayne Lincoln. He is definitely a great running back. I'm excited for his future. Chance Tyree gets an upgrade. He's up to 75 overall, hoping that I can get a dev trait upgrade opportunity for him. I haven't gotten it yet, but he's off to a pretty good start in his rookie campaign. 2-0. Who complains? Deshaun Purnell, who we drafted in the fourth round, I believe. Or was that the third round? I think it could have been the third round. He goes up to 69 overall. I'm going to be looking to get him some more playing time. I think that uh, Carlos Jackson is doing just okay. I want to see what Purnell can do as well. And then Solomon Thomas has an upgrade. He goes up to 78 overall. Remember, he's still in his late 20s. He's still got some development to do. Number 27 in the league when he's ranked. So I do want to put it in your heads, the re-signing of a lot of these guys. And you can see who is going to be due for another contract. A lot of guys here. And one guy that, I mean, really is going to be due for a contract that we need to keep around is Chuma Idoga. You just saw that game that he had on the number one pass rusher in the NFL right now in Khalil Mack. One sack. I mean, that's not bad at all. I mean, he was very, very good. Now, I'm going to pay my players based on production, not on overall and not what Madden tells you to. So I'm going to be realistic with those contracts. So we do have the Ravens, Chiefs, and Vikings coming up next, all next episode. So I will have all three games there. I like to do that sometimes to get through seasons. But then after the game, Le'Veon Bell approaches the front office and demands a trade. It's more or less a request. I don't. I wouldn't say it's a demand, but he requested to be traded away. So we will honor that request. We will try to get him to a contender, and hopefully it will work out for the best. He's been a pretty good player for us the last three seasons now, and we have some good replacements in Deion Carter, LaMichael Pirine, and now the rookie, Dwayne Lincoln. So I don't know if we're going to trade him next episode, but we will see. Um, Le'Veon Bell has been a great player for us, but I will honor that request. So next episode, triple header, hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah, hey, filling out these job applications. Life got hard after high school graduation. I went to college and your boy got financial aid. They gave me money, then I went and bought a pair of J's. And I bought a pair of shades. And I bought a new computer. Half a hundred dollars left, spent the rest on...